at a camp. No tent sites. They were all full last night. Had to just lay a pad down on the ground and a sleeping bag in the, the one of the few flat spots there was. Pretty sure it would have been about the same at Oslo campsite too because so many people passed us yesterday. This is a 0.6 mile hike down to the campsite <laughs> where we couldn't get a campsite. And it's straight up in the morning, back up to the hut that I stopped at yesterday. Still off the AT. <laughs> Heading up out of this campsite. Better up than down. Last night, the down was worse, I think. Coming down all these rocks. Not quite up to the hut yet in the AT, but that's the view. That's what we came over yesterday. You can see some people walking up that direction. Got coffee at the hut. Now we're climbing up. Is this, I think it's Madison. Whew. It's a steep one. Another gorgeous day. Just climbed up this cliff. But look at this view. Heading up Mount Madison. It's back here. That's the mountain we're climbing. Mount Madison. This is what we're going up. You can see how steep it is. It's a cliff. The whole mountain's a cliff. And this is what we just came up. And that's what we went up yesterday. One of the This mountain is Mount Washington. That's when we came over yesterday. You can see the sketchy road that comes down from Mount Washington. I think they charge like $35 a car just to take the road up there. And there's a ski resort over there. And we're almost to the top of this mountain, Mount Madison. Spark plug going across Mount Madison. We're at the peak now. This is what it looks like. It's crazy. At the top of Mount Madison. <laughs> <laughs> this for hours just climbing over boulders no trail you don't know which way to go <laughs> you don't know which way is the steep way which way is the shorter way or easier way that well there is no easy way the rocks move under your feet even the big ones sometimes it's scary there's Mount Washington and now at the angle we're at you can see we went down that ridge down these other ridges and mountains over here, back up, back up, back up, and up there, and then down Madison. That was yesterday and today. 
no joke about Madison either. That this we're still on these rocks and boulders. There's not really a trail. You just kind of come down, figure it out the best you can, and look for flatter rocks or rocks that aren't cliffs. You can just barely see the white hut where we started right there in between those mountains. Went up here and then we came, we've come, been coming down all these boulder fields. It's hours. We've already eaten lunch. We are below tree line, thank goodness. <laughs> We've been hiking all day. We've come 2.28 miles. We haven't even gotten to the campsite yet that they tried to send us down to last night from the hut. And it was two and a half miles from the hut. And they said, oh, go on down to the campsite since there's no work for stays. We would have come over that mountain in the dark over all those sketchy rocks and all those climbs in the dark and made it at like midnight <laughs> if we would have started at like six o'clock going over that mountain oh, just crazy there are not enough campsites out here there really are not they're full and you have to go so far in really sketchy terrain to get there and there are not very many stealth sites where you can get off the trail safely so you don't have to night hike or yeah and there's no way to plan ahead because you don't know what the terrain's going to be like out here other than it's going to be really really hard and you're not going to be able to make very many miles you may not even be able to make it to the next campsite or tent site most likely the next, this is two and a half miles away. The next campsite or tent site or shelter is 13 miles away from here. We're not going to make it there, but I don't want to just go two, two and a half miles. So we have to hopefully find something in the middle that's not on far out, that's not listed. Because I don't think we could do, you know, from two and a half going over the Wildcats, get to 13 miles anyway going over the Wildcats. Certainly not today. Still in the woods below tree line, and the trail is much better. You can actually make some progress on this trail. Waterfalls, really beautiful through here. We've got a fun bridge here, suspension. <laughs> Climb over that edge. I have missed the regular AT, and here it is. So pretty. All the waterfalls up there. I bet this is quite the waterfall at times. I'm glad it hasn't rained in a few days. have a cliff to climb. There's one mountain between here and Pinkham Notch and we're on it, but we're heading for the notch. 
We gotta climb that cliff first. That's a big old frog. Toad. Toad. Hello, Mr. Toad. He's hiding from me. Oh, there he goes. He's huge. The Pinkham Notch Visitor Center has a hiker room down underneath. It's open 24 hours a day. It's pretty cool for mm -hmm. us to hang out at. <laughs> Some tired looking hikers. 